Hello, my name is Liz Connor, and my story, am I doing this right, is being performed by actress Margaret Collin. I am not sure I am doing this right. I'm irreverent in my humor and approach. I am mostly positive, I guess, but it feels inauthentic to me. I see lots of writing about staying positive and making the most of your life and all of that good stuff. It doesn't really resonate with me. I want to hear uh, how you fucking collapsed in a fit of rage or despair and then pulled yourself out of it. Or at least how you got off the floor. I want to hear that you and I go through the same terror, anger, disappointment, isolation, and heartache. I need to know that you have been to those places too and have returned to the waking world. I can relate and find kinship in that. Tell me about, about how you kept going to work through illness and emotional devastation, how you coped with real life while you writhed in pain and, and, and nausea. I don't need just the nice fluffy stuff. There is plenty of that available. Sure. I was given tools, but I beat this by staying super positive. I didn't. I cycled through breakdowns and high points. I have days of emotional numbness and detachment. I also have days where I radiate joy and light. But the next day, I can crash into the darkest depths of my diagnosis. Then there are times when I don't even remember that I have stage four cancer. I don't have many, well, if any, symptoms, so it can be very confusing for myself and, and well, the people around me. I don't look sick. I have an insidious disease spreading within me, but it, it, it doesn't feel that way. It can be very disconcerting. Our Stories are so much more dynamic and relatable when we include the ugly and the dark. There are so many phases and emotions between getting diagnosed, doing tests, treatments, surgeries, and trying to live your everyday life that just get sort of glossed over with a shiny, happy story. So tell me about when you were sad. Tell me about when you lost hope and more importantly, how you got it back. So much is said about uh, staying positive, but there, there isn't enough explaining how to get there. I want to hear your happy story, but I also want to know what you did in the hard and dark times, too.